Hi Pisces, welcome to this reading. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Um, you might find it resonates more though if Pisces is your Moon or Rising Sign. Oh wow, Nine of Cups. Okay, very nice. We have the Two of Swords reversed, Ace of Swords reversed and the Hierophant in reverse. I feel Pisces, you might be doing some daydreaming, some fantasizing, some imagining. Um, imagine if so-and-so wrote to me and revealed that they are now single, no longer in a relationship. This could be someone you're interested in who is married. If it's not romantic, you could be thinking, oh, I would love to hear back from the interview that I had or the business I reached out to or, you know, whatever it is, and to hear that I've, I'm being given the opportunity that I am dreaming of, something about um, a wish. Imagining, daydreaming about a wish coming true here. I'm wondering why this is coming up. Five of Cups, okay. Eight of Pentacles reversed. We have strength reversed, Leo energy. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so this is something that seems like there's no movement. Um, no matter what you do, no matter what you have done, there is no, <clears throat> excuse me, no movement. You're wanting to hear something, you're wanting some clarity, you want the answer that will make you happy, but nothing's mo moving, nothing's changing, nothing's coming in. I feel the reason this is coming up is because Spirit's saying you actually, we're, we're getting into the realm of, of um, vibration, we, you know, we attract what we're putting out, manifestation, all of that, but I think that's what's going on here because the only two cards we have upright are the Nine of Cups and Five of Cups, and I feel that's your energy, that's how you're feeling. I feel the Nine of Cups is what you would like to see. The Five of Cups might be the energy you keep slipping into because you're not getting that outcome right now. Um, everything else is reversed and when cards are reversed uh, you know we have this many of them reversed i feel like there's a blockage somewhere and with the knight of pentacles here reversed that's no no movement whatsoever for the better or worse up or down left or right nothing nothing's happening at all but you have all of these emotions all of these thoughts flowing so i feel spirit saying use those tap into those and one of um if we take the the stance that you know, everything that happens to us, everything that happens in our life, we are, um, you know, the creator of, and, you know, we might agree or disagree with that to whichever extent, but let's say for the sake of this reading, we're believing that. Um, when you're in this Nine of Cups energy, it's a fantastic energy, so maybe that creates momentum, but then perhaps you're not seeing anything in the 3D, it becomes demoralize, uh, demoralizing, you feel maybe defeated, so you slip into the Five of Cups, and you see they're very different energies. Five of Cups is, um, oh my goodness, look at the mess in front of me, look at what's not working out, look at how things have gone wrong. So it's almost like the, the momentum is like, okay, Nine of Cups, let's go. Five of Cups, oh, hold on, no, we're attracting a different energy. Nine of Cups, Five of Cups, which, which they cancel each other out, if you see what I mean. So we get this no movement, this Knight of Pentacles reversed. But the interesting thing is with the Five of Cups, there's still hope, there's a lot of hope. There are two cups in this deck, it's cans in the background. Um, and the, the, you know, the two of cups connection is amazing or a two of cups situation is amazing. So whether we're in, the, we're in the nine of cups and it's very easy to feel like, you know, do, 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 <laughs> like everything's great or we're in the five of cups and we have to look a little bit harder. There is still something good to hold on to. There is still hope here and spirit saying tap into that and you might find that without needing to do anything else, the momentum actually starts to pick up and to move because you very much are coming across as the master of your own reality here. So um, you might be thinking this is very unfair. Nothing's coming to me, but spirit saying we want you to feel more empowered. We want you to know that you can make this come to you if you want if you want to. Well, you do want to, of course, but also you've, I suppose the work here you've got to do is trying to find the good, even when it feels like there isn't any. And, and it could just be the smallest thing. And you don't have to go from feeling terrible to amazing, just, you know, going from terrible to, um, I feel kind of neutral, you know? I might not be amazing, but I'm okay. That's That's perfect, that's enough. Okay, anything else here, please? Anything else? 
Let's go to this Knight of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, the fall in reverse. So you desperately want a new beginning here. We've got Aries, we've got Aquarius. I feel like you're wanting someone to take an, a leap of faith towards you, whether it's yeah a romantic interest, whether it's someone you want to trust that you have what it takes to do the job or you know whatever it is, you want someone to take that leap of faith, to invest in you, to believe in you. Um, and I feel Spirit's message today is encouragement that you can make this happen and all you need to do you don't need to take any out there 3D action unless you want to. It's about how you feel. That's your task um, that's coming through in this reading. Okay, let's see what else is coming through. And I always feel that it's like Spirit's saying, we wouldn't tell you this if there was no hope, you know. It can seem that way if we're looking at what's the three spilled cups or cans here, you know, the five of cups, but... Even if we don't see it, there is hope. Okay, what else do we have for Pisces, please? At this time, Page of Swords reversed. See, this is this is exactly the thing. That's exactly the thing you want. You want this communication to come towards you. Whatever it is you're wanting to hear news about concerning someone taking this act of faith, this leap of faith towards you, this is what you're waiting for. Now it's showing up, which tells me it's in the making it's in the ether it's circling you but there is something getting in the way because it's not upright but it's it's there is huge hope there is every possibility that this can come towards you eight of swords reversed we have the high priestess reversed so there's your energy pisces and the nine of swords reverse lots of swords here so I wonder if, um, you know, if you've been overthinking about this, again, it's all about how you feel. You don't have to kind of try and come up with logical reasons or explanations why this person might reach out, why they might not reach out. Um, it's all coming from the heart space. Yeah, look, five of swords. We have the, the king of wands, queen of cups. And we're back to the nine of cups i feel like the king of wands here that's this person you're interested in they could be a fire sign leo aries sagittarius or this is someone that you feel is strong confident which could even be making you doubt even more because it's like well this person is so confident and courageous that if they'd wanted to respond to me or say something to me by now they would have done you see and that's where spirit's saying no pisces your job is not to come up with logical explanations for things it's just to feel it's just to stay in this feeling place of i know what i would like and it's this and when i think of this it makes me happy so i'm just going to stay happy um or as close to as i can get and that's difficult because we have brains we're thinking beings you know we want to understand but i think there's not a need for that here and it might be acting against you actually because the thoughts you're having seem to be counterproductive you know um, as I said if they wanted to they would have done this is someone who takes action when they feel inspired so I guess they must just not feel inspired towards me because actually I'm seeing you know page of swords reverse maybe they do want to um, take action so I'll see in a minute why they haven't what's going on there aside from you know the sort of the energy energetic stuff um, okay there's a manifesting coach, he's called Caleb. I can't remember what his channel's called anymore um, because he changed it recently, but if you put in Caleb, um, C-A-L-E-B, I think, um, manifestation onto YouTube, I'm sure he'll come up. And he did a really brief video where he was really to the point and um, he said that if you're trying to manifest a change in a situation with a specific person, now this could be, you know, romantic or business or whatever, you know, so apply it as it resonates you will need to change how you see them what you think of them so if for example you're repeating to yourself this person is too afraid to reach out they're stuck this person overthinks they never take action you're going to have to switch that to if if you know this person is courageous they will act um on things they want to you know they if they want to talk to me they will know that they can you know that sort of thing so you have to change um what you think of them um how you think that they see you so do you, when you think of this person, do you instantly think, oh, you know, they think I'm annoying, they think I'm clingy, or do you believe 
this person thinks I'm charismatic, attractive, they want to be around me, they want to get to know me. And there's one more thing. I think the last thing is something like you have to change what you believe they believe about themselves, which is very close to what you think of them. I don't know. <laughs> but my point is you might want to, to go and hunt down that video because I feel like it kind of could help someone here. It feels like it's a bit relevant to this. Okay, but let's have a look at this page of swords reverse. What's going on here? Maybe on this other person's end, please. Ten of Wands. So they could they could just be a very, very busy person. Could be there on autopilot, just you know, they do the same things every day. Yeah, four of swords reverse. I think the thing, Pisces, is that this is someone whose life is non-stop. Um justice this is someone perhaps as well that does things because they think it's right so it could be um that they haven't sat down enough yet to think you know what i feel really inspired to reach out to pisces um but there there aren't any bad feelings they're not ignoring you it's nothing like that it's just that they're on autopilot they get up at eight they do this by nine they go to work they come home at six then they make dinner and then they you know and then then on the weekends they go and visit their great aunt and and cut her grass because that's what's right you know it's just go 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 so i don't actually think they have any um resistance to reaching out i don't think they have any negative feelings um but i feel maybe the thing here is that they would need to sit down and make time and make room so i just wonder if you've maybe been telling yourself things that actually um, aren't true. Queen of Pentacles reversed. There could also be someone they are in um, a commitment with, whether it's romantic or it could be a work partnership here. And what you might not know is that something around this is coming to a close with the Ten of Wands. Ten is completing a heavy cycle and Justice can be signing some kind of contract. So let's say it's work. They've got to get this person out before they can get you in. And what you're not seeing is that they're working hard on closing this out before they can call you up and make you an offer or send the contract to you. If it's a romantic thing, you might not know that this person is working hard towards um, asking this other person on their end for a divorce or they're going through a divorce you know um or a separation here so there's something going on behind the scenes it's keeping this person very busy it really doesn't concern you in like a negative way at all um and that's why spirit's saying there is there is hope here even when it doesn't seem like it and don't let your mind tell you all kinds of things well this is a king of wands and if they cared they would have done this and this and this and this maybe but they're busy being a king of wands in this situation they have to close out first you know it doesn't mean that they're never going to act or they don't want to they've just got to do this first um okay so i will leave this here pisces so i hope this helps i feel really just just try and take it a bit more easy on yourself you know um, and do the things that make you feel good, whether it's in connection to this situation or if you're struggling in any given moment to find anything positive to think about to do with this. Just, you know, try and focus on something else um, that makes you feel just even a little bit better. OK, so thank you so much and I will talk to you soon. Bye.